Dave Mallard. I wonder what this theme will be. <laughs> well, Mr President, I'm sorry I just ran into the chamber, but uh, I've been in a meeting with the Minister for Education himself talking about this issue and trying to, trying to see some sense uh, about the announcement. But I am going to also talk on Gaby Baby. Uh, surprised to speak about the issues concerning the Australian Future Length documentary Gaby Baby by Maya Newell and Charlotte Mars. I, like the Honourable Penny Sharp, who was at the meeting I just was at, uh, attended a screening of this film in the Parliamentary Theatre on Tuesday night as part of the launch of the New South Wales Parliamentary Friends of the Ga Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender and Intersex LGBTI community. I attended the screening, frankly, frankly, with some indifference because, quite honestly, I am no fan of biodocs, particularly when they portray the community of which I am an active member and really am a bit over all of the an analysis. So when I woke up on Wednesday morning with the front page of the Sydney Daily Telegraph screaming gay class uproar and parents outrage as school swaps lessons for PC movie, followed by learned intelligent copy like 1,200 students watch a documentary on gay parenting instead of normal classes. Uh, well, Mr Deputy President, I thought, I must have seen a different film. I don't think I saw that film, because the film I saw was not controversial. It was not promoting the so-called homosexual agenda, the so-called political agenda. The film portrayed in the press in the press hysteria is not the film I and over 100 others, including fellow members of this House and the other place, saw the other night. I hope members take the opportunity to see this film. Perhaps the controversy may encourage more people to go and see the film. I was surprised at the emotions and the wonderful uplift I felt from the film. Emotions that came about because, and, and members, this is a spoiler alert, one of many, you block your ears if you're going to go see it. For those who may go see it, this film deals with the ups and downs of typical everyday family life. Spoiler alert, the film deals with children's aspirations, hopes and dreams, and how their parents invest so much in what becomes their shared hopes and dreams. Spoiler alert, this film deals with human struggle, sickness and disappointment. In summary, this film is about normal family issues. Yes, it does touch on the issue of same-sex marriage, that taboo. But in the context of a lesbian, uh, lesbian parent gu guiding her young son through his questioning of faith in God and in his church, which, he continues to, which she continues to strongly believe in and wants him to, 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 to become involved in, it is possible that Burwood's Girls High School, a secondary school for 13 to 17-year-old 17 year -old girls, well versed in the ways of, of the world and life at that age, could have handled the communication of this film presentation a bit better. Though it should be noted that the, the reports in the media today have confirmed that not a single parent of a child at that school made a complaint to the school. You can also imagine the excitement and pride that the school felt uh, in screening a film produced by one of their former students. And I don't think that's been taken into account enough. But at the end of the day, showing this film is no more controversial than showing To Kill a Mockingbird was in the 1960s or Rabbit Proof Fence today which I understand is currently in the state's English curriculum, and so it should be. What we have seen the last day is just a taste of the prejudice and the ignorance that the LGBTI community, its members and families, deal with each and every day of their lives. And this leads me to flag a grave concern about the proposed plebiscite or the outrageous proposal for amendments to our national constitution through a referendum on the issue of same-sex marriage. What we have witnessed in the last 24 hours is only a small sample of the vitriol and venom that will be unleashed by a prejudiced minority should the plebiscite proposal proceed. This will result in harm to the vulnerable in our communities, will fray the fabric of our community harmony and, and, and increase the risk of driving a long-term immovable wedge into our society. From, the, from those members listening, I encourage you to see Gaby Baby. You will leave the film with your belief in family strengthening, strengthened, your belief in parents strengthened, your belief in love strengthened, and I hope your belief in belonging, the belonging of families of their many types strengthened. And one last spoiler alert, Mr Deputy President. I hate to tell you, but Gaby Baby is already being played out in our community today. It's, on our, it's already living in your streets today. And shock and horror, it's already happening in your schools today.